So my name is Dongling Shen. I'm from EJL Wireless. We are the consulting firm and do the industry uh, analyst. So uh, this is SDN and NFV uh, or Congress. So we know it's what's a benefit for SDN and NFV. It's basically, SDN is try to uh, centralize the routing, the traffic routing, instead of the uh, distributed routing. That's improve the efficiency. Then we got the uh, open flow uh, protocol at the early stage, but now there's uh, multiple protocols. <laughs> and it's not quite standardized, that's for sure. And NFV, the key of NFV is reprogramming, reconfiguration, and over the common platform, hardware platform. platform. But NFV, the difference NFV from the PC, from computer, is you have to reprogram uh, the network. That makes things very complicated. That's why. Uh, the automation and the AI is really important. And right now, I think it's still very challenging for, for that. And current business model for the telecom industry is really, and it's a service provider centric things. And they really uh, uh, play a very important role. And they function between the service providers, uh, between the equipment vendors and the customer. They basically design a lot of trend of industry. First, they have to reflect the customer need, consumer need, but then they also help to guide the service provider, uh, guide the equipment vendor to develop the technologies and the product to meet the customer need. And it's territory based. Each service provider, their own service territory. And cross service provider, and that's issues there as well. Especially we're talking about uh, QoS, QoE, and now we, it, it's not consistent. And it, when we have cross uh, CSP service, then these things is hard to get consistent performance for the consumer. And now we say, go to next generation technology. If we need to do uh, the slicing, system slicing, network slicing, and we need to do uh, automations, then there will be more challenge there. So it's from vendor side, it's, uh, it's more like a vendor or right now we're talking about the interoperability. It's really vendor-centered uh, ecosystem that's been vendor, work to, they have their own ecosystem. Then in their ecosystem, they have the uh, interoperability issue being addressed. But if you're out of that, then you need extra effort. So I, I think that's, a, um, right now it's open source development is a, a hot topic, people are talking about that. And that can address a little bit of issue, but still not address the interoperability issue. So that's still a lot of challenge there. And so what a challenge you had? There's, a lot of these issues need to be resolved, and we still have not have a good uh, resolution yet. So big things, we're talking about 5G network, that's a different. They separate the control plan and the user plan. On the PS domain, what that means? The PS domain is control and the user plan, you know, it should be the same, right? on the same hardware platform, but th these things, they need to separate. And we're talking about 
the zero touch network management. That's basically it's important for service provider to reduce operational cost, OPEX. And there's an issue there. And yesterday we have the workshop talking about the ZSM. We can see the gap between service providers and the equipment vendor. And it's not quite agreed yet for the openness. And how to resolve this problem? Do we really need new business model for this industry? I think that's something. It's a question for all of us. So I think it's a, that's basically the challenge we are facing. We need to get these things 